Dear viewers today i have come to discuss about distant protection relay its working principle setting of protective zones and plotting of rx diagram what is distant protection relay distance relays are the protecting device whose functions based on the distance of fault point on the transmission line the distance is calculated from location of ctvt and relay up to fault point the impedance is calculated by evaluating the voltage and current during fault on the basis of distance distance relay working principle distance protection relays are based on current and voltage the relay operation is purely depend upon the magnitude of the circuit current and voltage the ratio of both is calculated the ratio of voltage to current is called impedance here the word distance means that impedance is nothing but an electrical measurement of distance along a transmission line the relay measures the ratio of voltage and current during fault find the ratio is less than a presetting value the relay operates to trip the circuit breaker how distant protection relay detects the fault location from the v and i ratio for a particular fault the impedance is constant but the value of the ratio changes according to the fault location changes as fault current and fault voltage changes according to the distance of relay location to fault point the fault is nearer to the relay the ratio of the v and i will be low and as fault position travels away from the relay the ratio becomes higher and more so it is installed to operate within a particular length of line to be protected and after setting relay adjustments for the particular section it remains inoperative beyond that section voltage reference is taken from the potential transformer and the current reference is taken from the current transformer the section ab of the line is protected zone and the impedance of the zone collected from conductor line data is the line impedance of the zone under normal conditions the ratio of voltage v and current i is constant at every point of the protected line this is load impedance which is much higher than that of the line impedance and fault impedance so the relay does not operate under this condition when a fault occurs at point x within the protected zone then the voltage drops while current increases thus the ratio of v by i the impedance reduces this is the impedance of the line between relay location and the fault point x measured by relay so when this measured impedance reduces then its preset value at the relay the distance protection operates to trip the circuit breaker find plotting rx diagram we have to collect line conductor impedance from line data and length of the line to be protected 
resistance inductance capacitance rlc the parameters and frequency etc will also be available from line data hence we shall get total impedance of the protected line the line characteristics this is conductor line data in the shown conductor line data length of this section under protection is 36 km positive sequence impedance 0.1583 plus j 0.4004 that is 0.431 at an angle 68.4 degree ohm per kilometer that means resistance of the conductor used for the section is 0.1583 ohm per kilometer similarly reactance is 0.4004 ohm per kilometer and calculated impedance is 0.431 ohm per kilometer with angle of impedance is 68.4 degree we may calculate the impedance by using formula zl equal to root over r square plus x square angle phi is equal to tan inverse x y r from line data so total impedance will be calculated against 36 km line length calculation will be based on positive sequence impedance against phase to phase fault that is overcurrent fault and on zero sequence impedance r fault will be calculated relay will calculate everything on the basis of data input let us plot the total protected line impedance in the rx diagram of a plain impedance relay where the resistance along x axis and the reactance along y axis and phi is the impedance angle and ad is total calculated imp impedance as referred to secondary of the protected line according to its length the line impedance is on the primary side of the ct and vt whereas the distance relay is on the secondary side of the ctvt to superimpose the line characteristics on the relay characteristic both should be referred to the same side preferably on the secondary side therefore impedance of the primary as referred to secondary jls is equal to jlp into ct ratio into 1 by pt ratio where jls is the impedance of the line as referred to secondary and jlp is the impedance as per supplied line data now ab the impedance in ohm of protected section between substation a and substation b based on length in kilometer is equal to j ls into length of protected section in kilometer now ar z1 is equal to the impedance in ohm of protected zone that will be calculated as percentage of protected section that is equal to 
ZLS into length of the protected section in kilometer into 80 by 100 if zone 1 protection is 80%. A circle is drawn keeping air Z1 ohm its radius. The circumference of the circle is the locus of the point R. All values of impedance at first quadrant are positive and relay will create positive torque at here in forward direction. Relay will operate at any value of impedance at the first quadrant within the circular boundary below a preset value, but it not operate at any values beyond the circular boundary. The circular boundary defines the relay characteristics. When the relay characteristics line comes on the same line with the line characteristics line relay operates for faults in the forward direction the ratio of v and i will give positive impedance and for faults in reverse direction the ratio of v and i will give negative impedances if the impedance that the relay calculates falls within the distance relay impedance circle then chief command is issued for impedance outside the circle no trip is issued for plotting rx diagram we have to calculate line impedance from the line data as referred to secondary jdls then to calculate zone impedance with respect to percentage length of protected section. During fault, relay will measure impedance Z. The measured fault impedance is compared with the known value of power line impedance, which is approximately constant to obtain location of the fault. If power line impedance of a line is 20 ohm on 50 km and if fault impedance measured by the relay is 10 ohm then fault distance is 25 km is calculated. Keeping protected zone impedance as radius the circle is to drawn which defines relay characteristics of zone 1. A relay will calculate fault current and fault voltage to obtain impedance during fault. It needs mathematical expression on fault calculation which is not possible to describe at this little space. Thank you for watching this video.